Within the last decade, the studio A24 has seen a massive rise in popularity and prominence in the film industry, and has given way to many young directors to make their dream projects and start their filmmaking careers. And we've seen a notable rise in younger directors entering the industry. One of these directors is Robert Eggers. Hi, I'm Robert Eggers. Robert Eggers has only made three films so far. The Witch in 2015, The Lighthouse in 2019, a film that slapped so hard it was too good for the Academy. And most recently in 2022, the Viking revenge epic The Northman. All three deal in what Eggers is most fascinated with, which is folk horror. All of his films deal with folkloric elements such as Christian women who are secretly witches, sailor myths such as mermaids and the bad luck of killing seagulls, and Viking mythology and legend, all of which are sourced for his passion for ancient history and his childhood in New England. Eggers also takes great care to ensure historical authenticity in all his films, ensuring er error-reminiscent production design, including costumes and sets, filming and practical locations that are usually the locations they're portrayed in in his movies, and most notably, extensively researching accents of the period, even though you sometimes can't even understand what his characters are saying because of it. Whether were you and Kale up this morning? How could you disappear? He also makes music with his frequent collaborator Mark Corvin, but also sticks in his idea of historical authenticity, with lots of chanting and strange sounds and historical instruments. The way Eggers blocks his scenes in his screenplays is by writing down everything that every character does in his scripts, down to the little movements they make, showing the vision he has for the entire film in his head. Uh, there's never, uh, in my screenplay, Rome burns or they fight. There you go. A first draft. Official first draft. Of course, there's a lot of cheating in there. A lot of they fight. One of the notable techniques that is present in all Eggers films is his close-ups of characters' faces usually surrounded by darkness. Most of the time these scenes are a source of exposition or have expressive character movements. Another similar technique is natural lighting usually by torchlight, which has some characters more as silhouettes. Eggers also collaborates on all of his films with cinematographer Yaren Blaschk, who often specializes in long shots of landmarks, with the characters usually in center frame, also using his lighting techniques to show them as silhouettes, and also long tracking shots that usually don't cut until after the sequences have been completed. This was used a lot more extensively in The Northman more recently. Eggers also has a crew of actors that he likes to use in all of his films, like Willem Dafoe, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Ralph Ineson, who have all appeared in two or more of his films in minor or major roles. Eggers uses all of these techniques to make amazing films that are masterpieces of claustrophobia and historical accuracy. Next, he is planning on making a remake of the 1922 silent film Nosferatu, which is set to come out sometime in the near future. Hopefully soon, because I really like Robert Eggers' cooking.